Hello, Hello. Hi. Liz hi, hi, hi. Your reputation precedes you. <laughs> Reading the briefing. My name's Nick Clegg. I'm the leader of the Liberal Democrats. I've come to Watford today oh, for a number of reasons, but um, my first stop was at the West Hearts College um, to see the excellent work that has been done in the college to give um, kids a chance to get qualifications, move on, get a job. I spent some time in the fuselage of a of an aeroplane which is being used here to, to, to educate and train students who want to go on into uh, work as air crew members. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of West Hearts International Airlines, I would like to welcome you on board this Boeing 737 aircraft. But the majority of you want to do... Yeah. And is that one of the attractions, to see other parts of the world? Don't you just see the inside of an airline? Don't you just, don't you just, no, 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 no. Don't, don't you just end up going to a hotel and then just get up the next morning and fly back? Or, or do they actually give you time in places? Uh, Sometimes you do. Yeah. Do you? If it's long haul, you do. Oh, I might quit politics. Again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've spent a lot of time I've had taught in higher education. I've got a lot of young people uh, in my constituency in Sheffield. M my feeling is that actually young people, teenagers, care a lot about the world they live in. They care about civilities. They care about the environment. They care about... Um, uh, poverty, they care about you know, crime and law and order. <coughs> Wouldn't it be better to deport illegal immigrants found guilty of crimes immediately following a guilty verdict? The courts can do that. What the courts generally do is if someone is uh, committing an offence and the courts discover that that person is illegally resident in this country, the courts then actually say, you will go to prison for four months, four years, whatever, and in the court judgment it says, and upon the completion of your sentence, you will be deported back home. I think it's particularly important that politicians like myself get out and about as much as possible, don't get stuck in the Westminster village. I think one of the things that is very useful in events like this is that with a bit more time and much more directly I can explain why politics, well, doesn't cover itself in glory, but still has got a lot to offer. Thank you. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, sir. See you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.